Hello everyone and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 where I'm going to take a look at the Arecibo Observatory on news that it is being decommissioned now that from the National Science Foundation uh, which was the primary source of funding for the observatory. Unfortunately the observatory does not look particularly good in the game right now and I'm hoping to encourage people to do something about that I guess. It is a uh, colossal landmark in Puerto Rico and it is a thousand feet across or a little bit over 300 meters this is what it looks like right now which is a shame um, obviously it should be a dish uh, the main dish should not be very difficult to model uh, some of the wires and all that business might be but yeah I mean it's close to being sort of a wonder of the world kind of level thing it's also physically huge so it's easy to spot on a flight. Uh, you just fly south from the town of Arecibo. We'll fly to the town and take a look at what that looks like. I don't, I haven't flown much around Puerto Rico recently. Uh, mainly during storms, I fly around it uh, just to see what the storms are like. You can see there's some thunder and lightning around right now. Honestly, it hasn't been getting the funding it ought to. That funding had declined around 2001, and they were pushing to basically zero it out around 2001 to 2006. It got a reprieve from 2006 to 2010, but since then it hasn't really gotten what it needed. Uh, it was only slightly damaged in Hurricane uh, Maria in 2017, uh, but then some wires broke more recently this year, and the National Science Foundation decided that it wasn't safe to try and repair it. So, for those who don't know about the significance of the observatory, uh, it was actually the first thing that discovered planets uh, around another solar system, so extrasolar planets. In 1990 it found planets around a pulsar, and of course that was also the first time that we found planets around a pulsar. It was the first time we found planets around anything else, so that was huge. Uh, before that, uh, the year before that, it directly imaged an asteroid for the first time. And it's um, sort of good at asteroids. What it's mostly known for is from Contact, the movie, which is uh, based on a novel by Carl Sagan. And so it featured prominently there, part of the SETI program, or Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence and messaging to extraterrestrial intelligence. Uh, they sent the Arecibo message in 1974, which is uh, a little binary transmission that was supposed to provide some information about us. Uh, sent in the direction of M13, which is a globular cluster. cluster. But yeah, so Arecibo has had actual, you know, major scientific discoveries. More recently in 2008 it discovered uh, molecules uh, due to uh, thanks to uh, spectroscopy in a distant galaxy it discovered specific molecules. I mean there's a lot you can get from a 1,000 foot dish it turns out. And I've seen people comment well we've got space telescopes. No space telescopes do different things and it's a good reminder that we could do with a lot more of these observatories because not all astronomers get time on the space telescopes. The space telescopes aren't always pointed in the right direction for what they want to do. And uh, it's also really expensive to get ta space telescopes as we found out with uh, the James Webb Space Telescope taking so long to develop. I believe this is the town of Arecibo. Let me check them out. Yes. So this is the town of Arecibo, uh, which is what the space telescope is named after. It is directly south of this town. There is an airport nearby. Um, I'll try and fly over it. It's behind us somewhere. It's good to have them. And obviously Arecibo in particular is a special space, uh, special terrestrial telescope. Um, it provides unique capabilities, or provided. I guess we don't have it anymore. I feel like to some extent, the reason for its demise is because it wasn't located in one of the 50 states which have more influence over budgets and funding and all that sort of thing. So that's sort of sad too. 
I didn't actually uh, fly out of this airfield. I flew out of one that's on the northwest corner of uh, Puerto Rico. Uh, Aeropuerto Internacional Rafael Hernandez is uh, the one I flew on out of. So yeah, I'm sort of hoping uh, even though it is being decommissioned that people will see fit to create a more proper version of Arecibo in the game. Oh, and certainly somebody asked me how to uh, turn on the smoke effects in the plane, and I generally fly the non-aerobatic version of the MB339, so I'm not actually sure <laughs> how to turn on the smoke. I'll have to look into that. I imagine it's in the manual, though. As you can see, the observatory is not very difficult to spot. I don't have any nav points right now uh, to try and find it. And yeah, it's fairly prominent. So having it look a little bit better than this, even in the midst of a storm, um, having it look a little bit better than this would be awesome. So anyway, uh, you can tell I'm a bit saddened by this. I don't normally cover current events. You know, I, I don't uh, take all sorts of space news and cover it, but... Oh, there's a rainbow. Um, but I thought it worthwhile to talk about this briefly, at least. So with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.